right now, we're going to talk a little bit about the arc of Calhoun County. Leah Ortiz is the executive director. Nice to see you again. Good morning. For those who don't know, why don't you tell us first what the arc is all about? Sure. The arc is all about service to the community. Um, and we do that through providing um, advocacy and services uh, programs for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Yeah, and uh, you know it's it's a little extra work to, you know, uh, when when you've got family situations like that. So all the support you can get is mm -hmm. certainly welcome, and that's what you guys are all about: getting, you know, planning activities and getting people from point A to point B, and uh, helping them with government programs and assistance that might be out there. All of that stuff. Sure. And so uh, I'm very intrigued by this. Uh, this seminar that you've got coming up um, on February 7th and 9th. It's like a Thursday night and a Saturday morning, uh, and it's called When We're Gone, Person-Centered Planning for the Future. Now, uh, where did this idea come from and what's, gonna, what's it all about? Well, the idea really came from life, right? So um, we don't always like to talk about um, when we are going to be gone. <laughs> um, the reality is, is that we cannot live forever, unfortunately. And um, being a parent or a caregiver of a person with a disability, sometimes we're living day by day. And we really aren't planning for the future ahead of what is this going to look like when I am no longer as a parent or caregiver around? Um, what is my adult or even young child with a disability going to do without me here? So um, this is something actually we launched last year uh, through a variety of community partnerships to put on. We had a great um, attendance. We had over 66 individuals that came to hear the information. It's a free event. And so we, um, it was an actually high demand to repeat again this year. So we have some of the same information with updates, um, as well as we're spending a little bit more time in the more requested um, sessions. And by the way, the cost of this? Free. Free. <laughs> with food, I, I Tim. With, with food. food. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. And it's again, it's a Thursday, February 7th, 5 to 7. And then Saturday, two days later, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 mm -hmm. Um, tell us about what some of the presenters are going to talk about in those two sessions. Sure. So um, we're partnering with uh, Disability Network of Southwest Michigan, um, with CareWell Services, the Department of Treasury, um, and also um, Kent Biebrick, um, a local estate planning attorney. And we're providing uh, topics that range from My Able, which is a um, savings plan for individuals with disabilities that's tax-free um, to where to find support, looking at the National Family Caregivers uh, Program and what is available out there for the caregivers to find some reprieve, as well as the social security issues that um, a lot of people have or questions about. Um, can individuals work with social security? They can, by the way. And um, mm -hmm. what to do with planning for that financial freedom. Um, we also have alternatives to guardianship, a discussion about that. The ARC will be presenting um, on that topic. And that is really to get people to start thinking about guardianship is not the answer. First of all, it's not a protective bubble that's going to keep people safe. Um, and if we get guardianship of an individual now, when we're gone, what happens? And so we're really going to put some um, answers out there for uh, parents and caregivers that perhaps are already guardians or are considering that. And so that they can start planning for that future. It, it is a tough thing. You, you alluded to it. Uh, I, I've seen it kind of on both ends. There, there are people who are caregivers and as they get older and older, they just don't talk about it. They just don't want to think about it. They just go from day to day mm -hmm. hoping uh, for another good day. And and then there are those that are under so much stress worrying about what's going to happen when that happens. And, and I think that's probably most people, even the people who kind of have their uh, denial stage, deep down, they're stressed out too. They don't know what's going to happen. So just getting some answers and some ideas and get the thinking process going could relieve so much of that stress among caregivers, couldn't it? 
Absolutely. When you feel like you're involved in a network and you have a system of support, um, it's amazing how much more confident and empowered caregivers and parents are. And I should also mention, in addition to the topics and the presentations that we'll have both nights, um, we'll also have tables of information from community agencies there as well to allow individuals to access that those resources and that information. Some of our partners will be, um, Summit Point will be there, Alternative Choices will be there, um, and, and others, so that they can really come and learn about what's available in the community. Well, we'll have you back, Lee, and we can talk a little bit more about, uh, like, I want to know more about what guardianship is and what those alternatives are and some of the things that you'll cover. And we'll go in a little bit more in depth. But again, this is going to be Thursday, February 7th, 5 in the evening for two hours. Or and and Saturday, February 9th from nine in the morning until noon, brought to you by the Arc of Calhoun County and all of your sponsors. So. Yes, and different topics each each night or each night and day. So it's really you want to you want to be able to come for both if you can. All Meals right. are included. Ah, very good. Uh, Leah Ortiz from the Arc. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you again soon.